Focus on the process and you'll get to the destination. Focus on the destination and sometimes you'll lose the process. Our next caller is Jennifer from Massachusetts. Hey, Jennifer, how can we help you? Hey, guys. I am really grateful for you taking the time for my call. I really appreciate it. Um, Sal, can I say one thing to you before we get started? Yeah, let's, yeah let me hear it. <laughs> um, can you please tell Jessica that I completely relate to her? I am celebrating 10 years of marriage to my 100% Sicilian husband. Mm. So um, when we go to family functions, I've never had to kiss so many people hello and goodbye <laughs> um, in my entire life. Yeah. Half of the time, I don't know people, but we always have to say hello and goodbye to everyone, which takes just about as much time as the whole event, I think, sometimes. Lots of noises as everybody's we're, eating. Wasn't it you and I just talking about this off we air? Were, like, we literally, were. like, two days ago, <laughs> Sal and I were talking about this off air because Katrina's family is much like his family, and it was like, and I'm the opposite. Our, our family uh, doesn't see each other at all, and so it took me years to get used to that. Yeah. Uh, saying hi and goodbye and making sure I, I get every person at the party, regardless if I know who they are or not. <laughs> hey, but I tell you what, man, if you need family, you got a lot of people there. This is true. And they, will, is, they will die for you. This is true. I, I, I probably oh, had a, the 100%. biggest baby shower ever. <laughs> it's, wor it's worth it. It's worth it. So congratulations. You married oh. well. <laughs> hey, he's wonderful. He's uh, doing the Mind Pump programs That's as awesome. well. All right. So what's your question? How can we help you? Um. So my question, I was going to give you a little bit of backstory. Um. I always suffered with the scale, um, food issues, you know, typical um, female stuff. You know, I'd run around my backyard trying to burn 300 calories in a workout because I thought, you know, that was what I needed to do. About a year ago, I found you guys, which totally opened my eyes, um, which thank you. Um, I just listened to you. I binged every episode. I started researching, doing a ton of work on myself, and um, you guys really just taught me how food is great for your body, how to fuel my body, how to use the scale. So right now I am in an awesome place. You guys helped me get there. Um, so I'm a 45 year old blessed stay at home mom. And I am just really happy where I'm at. I love my fitness routine. I just started Amabol anabolic advanced at home um, version, which thank you for making those programs available at home. Um, I walk my dog three to four miles a day. I do yoga couple times here and there. I make sure that I do 20 minutes of mobility and stretching a day. I take my recovery really seriously. I track my sleep. Um, I'm just really um, comfortable where I'm at. My maintenance calories is 2,600 calories. I'm 5'8", 139 pounds, 23% body fat. Um, and I just want to know, like, is it okay to stay here or do I Hell have yes. to go? Oh, Hell class? yes. You're crushing it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, what, what, the, all what of us are over, do you need All us? of us over here are like shaking our head is like, like where's the question at? Because where's the hook? you're in a beautiful <laughs> place right okay, now. Okay. So and, and here's, the, here's the beauty of where you're at. Uh, forget the fact that you're obviously lean, you're fit, you, you look amazing, you're, you're consistent, you feel good. Forget that for a second. Do you enjoy your workouts? I love them. I'm okay. loving Annabelle. So it took me a hot minute to get to switch over to, to your um, programs. I was following a YouTube trainer. Don't give me shit, please. Um, but <laughs> I, so I'm doing anabolic now. I love it. And for, for a mom, those three minute rest periods are phenomenal. Do you know what I can get done in those three minute <laughs> rest periods? They're awesome. Yeah, yeah. So um, I'm feeling strong. I'm feeling great. I just didn't know. Do I ever? Do I have to go into a cut in a bulk sometimes no. to no. Um, stimulate my metabolism? Like I know how to do it. You guys have taught me. Like if I, I know if I went down to 20% body fat, I'd see those see the abs that everybody no, wants. You are. I did no six pack. Um, I'm done two cycles of that. I've seen strength in my core. I mean, I my husband finds me sexy as hell. Probably more now than when I was 120 pounds. I'm 139 pounds right now. Uh, that's the um, true measure right there. Yeah, yeah you're, you're. <laughs> yeah, you know what, Jennifer? Okay, this is such a <laughs> this is such a good place to be because well, I'll I'll give you a quote that I say all the time: the man who loves walking is going to walk much further than the man who is only walking to a destination. So, in other words, I've never heard you say you're that. enjoy. I've said that before. <laughs> We do the fucking say that all the time. I don't even know what he's talking we about. He's full of shit. Them. Never said that before. Doug knows. He knows. He'll shake his head. <laughs> Look, Doug, the even Doug's like, I've never heard that quote. I say it all the time. <laughs> hey, listen. Go I ahead. Said, finish it. It was no, beautiful. It was beautiful. Here's the, here's beautiful. the deal. You, this, this, is, this is how you know you're going to be consistent forever. You enjoy what you're doing. Now, as far as the bulk and the cut is concerned, don't worry about that. It'll ha at some point you're going to be like, hey, I yeah, feel you're like have, I want to get a little stronger. You're going to have a Vegas trip come up yeah, soon. Hey, you know I feel like I like want that. more stamina. Hey, I feel like I want more strength in the squad, or maybe I want more mobility. And then you just 
follow that, follow that feeling, but you don't have to have a goal. This is one of the problems with having a goal. There's, and there's, there's positives and negatives to it, but one of the negatives is people get so focused on the goal that when they finally get to the goal, they're like, now what, what do I do now? Where do I go from here? So you're in this excellent, amazing place. Just enjoy what you're doing. This is like the, this is where we try to get people to, to get to. Yeah, so you're the, doing great. Yeah, the only thing that I would ever probably change up with you is uh, is the programming every once in a while. So and it acts how we wrote them. We wrote them with that intention: follow anabolic for three months. After you do that, move into performance or strong or aesthetic or one of the other ones. And you know, so you're learning new movements and exercises. You're hitting different planes, so you're getting stronger with all those things, and and you're constantly kind of changing it up so the body's not adapt. It doesn't get so used to anabolic that you start to see a diminishing returns. But other than that, where you're, I mean, 2,600 calories is a great place to be for your size. That is uh, a, a good metabolism. So there's not, a, and you're, you're incorporating yoga, you're walking, you're getting stronger, you like the way and, you and look you and feel. And you enjoy it. You're yeah. enjoying the process. It's, it literally is such a perfect place to be in. And I'm with Sal. Something will naturally happen over the course of, you know, the year where, you know, maybe you got something coming up where, like I said, Vegas, maybe it's not Vegas, maybe it's just something you're going to do and you want to be leaner. So you run and do a calorie deficit for a little while, or maybe it's winter time and where you're enjoying some of the Thanksgiving foods and some of that. So you naturally kind of go on a bulk a little bit, but you're in a very beautiful place that I think we, we are striving to get most our clients to. Yeah. Just, just literally just keep enjoying what you're doing. Yeah. This is perfect. Just embrace it. Thank you. Yeah. We have uh, anabolic performance aesthetic. Oh, there you go. Uh, we have all of that stuff. Um, I'm in your private forum. We have the no uh, BS six pack. So I have all those things that I can interchange throughout the year. That's so, perfect. We'll just uh, give you a virtual high five then. Yeah. Yeah. Jennifer, <laughs> you're doing great. I, this, uh, this kind of question really makes me happy. So I'm happy you're where Oh, you're thank you. And if I could just say one more thing to all of you guys, and if I get emotional, I'm sorry, but I just wanted to articulate to you guys um, something that I hope you guys realize. When I had my daughter, I was terrified I was going to pass down my body image issues my issues with food, even though I consciously tried not to do this, it was inevitable just at the place I was at. As all of you have helped me change my mindset, all of you helped me get to a damn good place. And that fear is now gone. My daughter brings some home papers from home paper from school. And she writes about herself and I see her write, I am strong. I am kind. Oh. My heart bursts with happiness. Nowhere is there the word skinny, thin, none of that. She makes me cards and says, I want to be strong like my mama. So from a person who values being a mother over anything else in this world, I thank you from the bottom of my heart. Yeah. God, God we bless really you. We really are changing lives and are not saying, and I'm not saying that to be corny. It is genuine from me. Please know you are truly making an impact on lives and you are, you are all kind, compassionate souls. And it comes through your podcast. So when you hear the name Alexander Ruggieri, that's my daughter, you know that you had a tiny part in helping her make her the badass that she's going to be. So thank you. Th thank you. God bless you. Thank you very much for that. There we go. You got, you got, you got all of us over here, down. man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, thank you for that. Oh, yeah, it's powerful. Yeah, Jennifer, I appreciate it. Thank so, you so much. I appreciate you guys. I appreciate you taking the time. Um, you're all just very kind people. So thank you. Thank you, Jennifer. Thank you. Have a great day, guys. Happy you, holidays. You too. You too. God, it doesn't take me a second. I know. Give me a second, dude. I, I, I had to like look away because if I was listening and focusing on what we're I couldn't doing, make eye start, contact yeah. with you guys. Yeah. If you cry, I'm going to cry. <laughs> I look at the that. ceiling. That's, that's uh, you know, what a, what a great place to be. You know, it takes a long time sometimes for people to get this place, but where they enjoy the process and they're like, you know, I don't need to have a specific goal. I just love doing this and I feel good. And, yeah. and then the question arises, am, should I go back to what I was doing before? Which is kind of what she was asking, right? Yeah, is, this, yeah. is it okay to stay here? No, it's more than okay. This is the best place to be. And uh, boy, what she said at the end, man. As, as yeah, apparent. I mean, we hope for this for most people to get to this point. It's, it's. I mean, that's what we do. We, we try and get our clients to to get to this place where you can navigate and you know what to do and, and apply things and you enjoy the process. Enjoying the process is everything. And the truth is it's it's <clears throat> it's not easy. It's There's a lot of work and a lot of the work is internal. It's not just X's and O's. Oh, it's dude. just not... These are my macros. This is the best program. Follow it. There's normally a lot of internal work that needs to be done. And obviously she's done that journey. And, you know, it's so cool to, to see when someone's put the work in to see it pay off like this. And she is in an amazing place. So, Jennifer, we love you. Thank you. Yep. 
Hey, if you enjoyed that clip, you can find the full episode here or you can find other clips over here. And be sure to subscribe.